I've got a tension gauge tool that I brought with me. Okay, this tool tells you how much stretch you're putting on that steel blade when you tension it up. And that's how we determine that we know that we're at the right tension with 35 foot-pounds, 45 or 65 or 70, whatever's on the mill. This mill is usually falling in between 65 and 70 foot-pounds on the torque wrench. And this gauge will tell us that. And you can put it right on the, on the blade. Now it's a pretty simple tool to use. This side here is movable, and that's what runs your gauge. See? This side here is fixed. So this side pinches the blade. Then when you pinch this side on the blade, you move this side one turn on your dial around, and then you lock the, lock the tab on the blade. Then you turn the face of the dial to zero. It's not just a guess, it's, it's based off this tension tool and it, it, what it does is detects the stretch of the steel okay. and that's what it's based on. Okay, so that's how it works. So I'll put it on here and then I'm going to tension it up to our 70 pounds and we'll see how we're at. And when you put it on the blade, you want to make sure that the back of the blade isn't touching this part of the tool because that'll affect it. And that's on both sides, so you slip it on the back. Pull it out a whisker, tighten that. I'm going to snug this up just to get it where I need it close. Then I'm going to spin my dial, or just move this here with my other finger, get my one turn on it. You can go past it, but you want to go at least one turn, then lock it. Make sure you're not hitting in the back. So I'm looking, I can see daylight here and I see daylight there. So I know I'm good. I'm gonna set the face of the dial to my zero. And you come over and take a look at it while I got it set before I tension it. So you got a yellow zone, green zone, and a red zone. The yellow is too loose. The green is where you wanna be. So I go to the high side of the green because when the mill gets running, it'll warm up. Your blade's gonna stretch a little bit. Or, yeah, basically, yes. It's gonna shrink some because of the heat. Get in the red, you're too tight. So, yep. So it's when, it, when I tension that blade, it's gonna measure this, the stretch in the steel from here to here. Okay. So we'll start tensioning. You can watch that gauge start moving. getting close. Right there. Is that it? Oh, is that click? Yeah, you had a click. I thought it was a click. So I'm in the red zone right there, just cracking into the red. I'm going to feel up here. We feel pretty good. So we're, getting, we're, we're a little bit into the red, but as soon as I fire this up, it's probably going to even out. Okay? Just cracking into the red on it. So this one is 65. That's why we say 65 to 70. We give you that five pound difference in there for variance, which is okay. It's not gonna, if you went a little bit more, it wouldn't hurt it a bit. Yep, just because the blade's thicker. You, yeah. 30 to 35 on the, on the HFEs or the Oscars. There's, you got that five pound window in there, okay? Uh -huh. right, we're set up with tension now, 52. We're good behind our guide. Our tracking looks good. No. Guide bearing's clear in there. We're good. 